Welcome back. <laughs> All right, so we're uh, we're back in our house in, in Ohio that we're renovating. We're gonna jump in time again on this video way back because like a year ago things are really moving in here. But we're gonna take you back and we're gonna do a stud wall walkthrough layout video so you get an idea of what the setup of this house yes. is. Yes. We're moving, things are happening. We'll definitely show you things and finish stuff coming soon, but for now, go back in time. What's going on, everyone? We are back at the house. Angela. Matt. Oh, as if they don't know who we are. They clicked on our Little channel. Little introduction. We're back at the house and we are seeing some changes. I wouldn't say we're making big moves, but we're making moves. I think it's big moves. It's exciting because it's exciting either way, as opposed to everything being ripped out in blank. We've got walls, well, walls, walls, walls. No, we don't have walls. We have frame framing. We have studs. Well, the walls are there. It's no drywall, no, drywall. no plumbing, no electrical yet, that's, but that's misleading. Listen. Okay. So on the way here, I called our kid and said, Hey, do you want to meet us at the house? And she goes, is there carpet yet? Not yet. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. We wanted to give you guys a tour because I always like seeing construction videos when the walls studs are up because you can really see studs when you can see. Thank you. When you can see the house. Um, so we're going to walk you through, give you a little tour Let's see what's of going room on. to room. Let's do it. Isn't she lovely? So are we doing this crib style? Um, no, not at all. Cause there is no crib, but we do have arches. Living room, no more brick wall uh -huh. right here. Yeah, there's a massive brick wall from here. All Look, we're gonna fireplace right here, right here, and no more six foot eight inch ceilings. Well, it was seven foot eight inch. Whatever. What's the height on here? Is it 13 feet? Now it's 13. It's amazing. So it goes all the way up to 13 feet. We yeah. vaulted this entire thing, which you guys have probably seen yeah. and put steel beams in there. And we are currently standing in the living room area standing in the kitchen so this is going to be the kitchen over there is going to be our little breakfast nook mm -hmm. um all very open concept here a little too much fancy you think? <laughs> it might be fancy yeah, it's too fancy up up top here you can see where we've got sort of a rough in for possible skylights so we've got one two three and then a possible four we haven't com absolutely confirmed that where they're going to go, but we do know we're going to have skylights. I'm looking too fancy. I'm looking too fancy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna wash our hands right here because this is eventually gonna be the kitchen sink. Yep, right we've, we've got to brick this up right there up to counter height. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna change the shape of the window a little bit, but she's basically standing in our kitchen and at the sink. We're gonna possibly make the, ki the kitchen window a little bit bigger, but I'm excited to have a window at my sink now. And then the, the great debate is at the island, which is going to be right in here. That's do we need a second sink here? Okay. Comment it and, and let us know what your opinion is there. We love to hear from you guys. We well, you're talking design, but mostly, most, mostly we That's just wanted design. to- That's design. The sink is plumbing. We just wanted to show them the walls. So well, this is all- No, what they thought. Okay. Breakfast nook breakfast area. Nook, yeah. There's gonna be a big old range and a hood right there. Right where Ken's sitting. She's sitting in the stove right now. Is your tushy hot? Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> Welcome into my Harry Potter pantry. It's gonna be a hidden pantry, and if you don't know what that means, you will see. Uh, you know, you'll find out. But this is gonna be my pantry, and I'm super stoked on it because I don't think I've ever had a pantry this large. It's really, really good size. So we've raised all the ceilings that you can see there up to nine, nine foot. We've still got wires hanging. That all needs to come out and be changed. But then now I can just walk right through here to oh, the powder bath. Oh, but that's not where it's going to be. No. Well, this is the powder bath, but you have to go around. <laughs> I know. So the reason for this design is I did not want a powder bath right here off of the kitchen. The idea of having a toilet that close to the kitchen really just it messes that's with my head. Yeah. I don't like it. Again. So come in over here this is our arched entryway from the kitchen into like the mudroom area there's going to be sorry it's a little dark right in here. here washer dryer uh -huh. area. potentially either um it's either going to be my sink right here or a countertop folding situation that's around the corner so it's going to be that kind of thing and then that's going to be the mud room. So this, it's kind of wild how much space we actually have that we didn't realize that we had. 
Yeah. It's and awesome. going back into that, this is the powder room. So this is the entry to the powder room. Yes. Off of the mud room. Yes. We were gonna do a pocket door here, but we do not have the wall space to do that. So that's just not utility. And beyond that. This is gonna be my little utility utility closet, closet where we will house room, vacuum, cleaning supplies, etc. This right here went down to the basement. And a couple days ago, this was a sharp tunnel straight down. I've knocked out all that, made it go straight across now. So when you look down, you're not looking into a dungeon. And you shaved this off too. Oh, yeah. right. So this is a, a bit of a bevel. Yeah. And so when you go downstairs, we've got a ton of room right here now for your head. It used to be like right there, which on the camera, you can't really tell, but it's very... Um, it opened it up a lot, which is fantastic for when we have to move furniture. Stomp me out. Boom. We are now back in the living room and we are going to go to the primary suite. Primary suite. Tour. If y'all remember... We'll show your room. Show your room. <laughs> this was not a door before. This, this is all new. There was literally a wall right here. We have completely reconfigured the whole primary suite, which is amazing. So this is the little entryway and the only entry into the primary suite, which is great. Oh, and wait. Look at the arched ceilings. Yeah, I wanted to point That's out. That's new today. Today, the arched ceilings went in. You Very can see the exciting. You can see the form factor. It won't be, not to insult your intelligence, but it won't be straight across. It'll be an arch. Yeah. So <laughs> this will be a breezeway. There'll be another door here going into the primary room, but it's a little breezeway. Um, so it's almost, little breezeway almost like entering the primary wing of it this. It technically is because there's, this is- I mean, if you house. wanna call a few thousand square feet divided into wings, sure. Well, in our world it is. <laughs> yeah. This is the where the bed is gonna be is right here. And we have a window right behind Lanter and then we're putting another window in right here. to flank the beds because I don't know who in their right mind would design a bedroom with a window over there and a window there. They're so off. Like that one's center, I get that, but that one makes no sense to me, this window right here. Yeah. So this is going to be the new closet. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, we actually lost some space in the closet. For the size of house that this is, I feel like the um, primary closet was really large. It was. It was very large. Now, so, this is gonna be a big closet. Yeah. Ceilings nine foot high, however, not as big as it was. Though. Not as big as it looks or appears to be right now because you do have to remember on all sides, like there will this. be clothing coming out 18 inches. So, so we'll still be able to move through. Yeah, it won't be, like be much more than a walkway, but it's good size. Hi, Ken. Yep. We are walking into our bathroom. Primary bathroom. Primary bathroom. Here's our water closet and it is on. I don't want a water closet. <clears throat> you got a water closet. Is it? No what do we call the water closet? The poo poo room. So you don't, um, you're not allowed to go in it. Yeah, I call it the poo poo room. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna, it's gonna be on a pocket door. This is already framed for a pocket door. Pocket. Yep. Pocket door. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I remember correctly, this is gonna be shower right here. Shower right there. Glass yeah, walls. Tub over here. Uh huh. And then double vanity right here. Yep, that's right. Double vanity right there. And then on that side, we're hoping to do a fireplace here for the primary bedroom. TV up there. Again, we decided on nine foot ceilings in here. We could have gone higher, but that means that this would have had to scoot further up, which actually means you would see more of that slant because that's how the roof line is because it is a ranch. So already we're having a small bit of slant on the sides of the room. So we decided to leave them at nine foot, which we felt was pretty tall. Let's move on. Okay. So now we can take you into the guest wing. We've got behind me another symmetrical arch going into the other part of the house where we have two bedrooms, bathroom, and linen closet. So let me show you. So we'll go through here, directly on the left right here. It's a little hard to see with just framing, but that is a linen closet. Coat closet. Yeah, I'm sorry, coat, coat and linen, my bad, oh, yeah. Yes. Did you say coat closet? This is gonna be arched through here too. Coat. So the bottom rack in there will be coats and then above it, we're gonna use for linens. Linens. Yeah. And then we're walking into the guest bath. Yep. Right here, I'm standing in the tub shower combo. And then right here, we're gonna have our vanity. 
Just yeah. vanity. Vanity and probably like maybe like one um, thing of cabinets there for bathroom storage, storage and whatnot. And then right there is the water closet. Yeah, we felt like it was sort of, we wanted to get a water closet in the guest bath as well, because we thought how nice for uh, like her mom who's visiting or Kenny or whoever else that might be staying with us to have their own private um, potty room, poo poo room <laughs> versus just the bathroom itself. So um, we were really happy to find this in the layout that we were able to have two um, very private and secluded uh, poo poo rooms. <laughs> no. So you're gonna have a nice poo poo room. Only if you stay that long. Poo poo room, poo poo room, poo poo room. Moving on. So this right here, whose room is this? Alma. This is Alma's room, which is my mom. Um, well, we should be clear. It's a guest room. It is. But when she travels with us, she's in here. Like, this is where her stuff will stay. Yeah. Um. So she, her closet is right there. The closets, unfortunately, in these two rooms are. And I can walk. They're minuscule. Minuscule is. It, it, this room is really very, very tiny. I don't know if it really shows up on camera. It's, I, do you know the dimensions? Was it like a 10 by 10 or 11 by 11? This room? Yeah. I can't remember. It's very small. It's, I think it's a 10 by 10. It's enough for like a full bed and nightstand. Not much else. Very small closets. We didn't do a whole lot with this layout because we just didn't have the space left over and we sort of prioritized our primary bedroom and primary bathroom to be somewhat luxurious because um, also for resale that your buyer is going to be <laughs> probably staying in the primary bedroom so we wanted that to be the nice primary bedroom suite and the other guest rooms were secondary kids don't need much room right and we plan on having a basement that would be finished. Um, so kind of like a TV and, um, you know, playroom downstairs. So this is just for sleeping. She wants to do the tour of her room. Oh, you want to do a tour of your room? Okay. You tell us what, what we're standing in. Okay, where are we at right now? In my room. In your room? Okay, so what's that right there? Closet. Is that gonna be your closet? Yep. And then we took out the ceiling of her closet to make it higher because I just wanted to use every square inch that we got. Yeah, and four, I didn't have a secret hideout. Oh, your secret hideout's in the there? <laughs> How you are you going to get up there? You'd have better secret hideouts in the basement. Yeah. This will all have to be spray foam. The part that's exposed, everything above the ceiling, uh, the ceiling joists are going to be, or rafters, I guess you'd call them, is going to be blown insulation. Everything below that will be spray insulation in order to get the maximum R value out of a small space. If I've lost you about that, sorry. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Where do you think your bed should go? In the closet? Okay, we're gonna what? we're gonna build our bed in the closet. Okay. That makes things easy, mom. It makes things really easy. What should we do with all this extra space out here? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a hammock. A hammock? In your closet, like, and you can hang out and sleep like Mowgli. I know. <laughs> we should put a bed right, right, right here, and we can put, and we can make a hanging bed right here. Like a hanging chair? Uh, -huh. uh You know, that could be kind of like cool. Serena and Lily hanging chair, that's what she's talking about. <laughs> Serena and Lily come through. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Like, basement is still untouched. I know, we can, like, make little and then you can put the hangers. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll hang your clothes right. on the walls. Walls are up. We're excited. We'll keep you updated. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.